Now back to the off duty Chicago police officer who was shot at a Beverly bar over the weekend. A judge ordered no bond for the three men accused in that shooting. Prosecutors say surveillance video proves that officer Danny Golden was just trying to break up this fight. CBS 2 investigator Megan Hickey spent the day in court. Megan video played a key role in this case. Right, Jim and Marie, again, surveillance video taken inside and outside of that bar confirms the accounts that we've been hearing, that Officer Golden wasn't part of that original fight. He was just doing his job to try to break it up. And prosecutors said it was after that fight ended that one of the suspects went to his car, retrieved a weapon, and then handed it off to another suspect who fired more than a dozen shots in Officer Golden's direction. Again, that bullet hitting his spine and is still lodged near his lung. Prosecutors say that fight broke out at a bar early Saturday morning in Beverly and spilled onto Western Avenue. Prosecutors say after the fight died down, 22-year-old Justice Justin Chrismantis had the gun. 22-year-old Bryant Hayes took it and fired at least 19 rounds in the direction of the crowd that was retreating back to the bar. 28-year-old Demetrius Harrell later took hold of the gun and fired at least another three rounds. The family tells us that Officer Danny Golden, who is a third-generation Chicago police officer and a U.S. Army veteran, was out with friends and family. He tried to break up the fight, and that is when he was shot. Danny's younger brother was struck in the leg, and another bullet struck Officer Danny Golden in the back. The family says his spinal cord was severed, missing his heart by millimeters, resulting in him being permanently paralyzed from the waist down. We did hear from one of his friends today. We'll hear more from him coming up later about how he was just doing his job, about how he considers him to have been a hero in this case and potentially protected others from getting shot in this situation. Now, as for criminal background, Hayes is currently on supervision for fleeing and eluding police, and Harrell is currently on parole for a federal bank robbery case. Now, when it comes to Danny and his family, he does have a fiance and the family and the 19th Ward are asking anyone to please help support them. We've got a link to our GoFundMe on our site, cbschicago.com. Megan Hickey, thank you.